Criticism has trailed the conduct of Nigeria's 2023 presidential election exercise amid allegations of widespread irregularities, rigging, and manipulation of the results. On the international scene, the United States, European Union, Commonwealth, and international observer groups have noted forms of irregularities in the polls. Now, some of the issues noted are inadequate communication and lack of transparency by the Independent National Electoral Commission, which has uh, concurrently created confusion and eroded voters' trust in the process. On a large scale, there seems to be a greater effect that Nigeria's 2023 presidential election has on the international scene. Now, joining us to discuss this and more is Global Affairs Analyst Collins Wiki. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Mr. Wiki. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, sorry for having me. All right. The ANEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, has uh, lauded the process of the election, calling it free and fair. Uh, what are your quick thoughts on that? Well, the ANEC chairman uh, appears to uh, be very lonely in that path that um, you know he has uh, decided to walk because, uh, as you could see, um, the vast majority of Nigerians uh, don't agree with him. Um, there might have been uh, pockets of, um, you know, uh, messages of congratulations um, from uh, left, right, and centre uh, in the international uh, arena. Uh, but um, the major players uh, behind the scenes uh, actually decry what uh, happened. And so uh, there remain um, a lot more questions uh, than there are uh, answers. And uh, I think um, the expectation now is for uh, the ANEC uh, chairman to be uh, humble, um, admit you know, the gross uh, irregularities, and then reassure Nigerians about what he is uh, doing as the leader of INEC to uh, actually uh, take away um, all of those uh, issues that uh, caused them, um, you know, the distrust, you know, simply begin to um, uh, bring back uh, trust to uh, to INEC. Now, by the sort of statement uh, he issued, um, I mean, uh, it does look like uh, an insult to, um, you know, to Nigerians. At least that is how the vast majority of Nigerians out here are seeing it. And of course, uh, friends of uh, Nigeria. So what? yes, he's uh, alone in that assertion. Mr. Wake, what would you say is going on? Is it ignoring the irregularities that have been pointed out or or feeling or basically saying that these irregularities are not enough to not make this to be seen as a free and fair election? Which would you say might be going on with the INEC chairman? Um, and of course, you know, people have also criticized this, the pace uh, at which the result were uh, called, the winner was declared, and certificate of return was immediately handed over, even when these um, irregularities were being pointed out. So is he ignoring, yeah. or he's just saying that it's not enough? Yeah, um, I think it's difficult to pin it down to a specific thing in terms of, um, you know, what is going on in his mind. Um, it could simply be that, um, you know, he simply just doesn't want to admit the fact that, um, that they got it wrong. Now, don't get me wrong, uh, there were quite um, a lot of efforts on their part to ensure that uh, you know, the process was free, fair, and, uh, and credible. And uh, his initial outings, I mean, uh, in the morning of uh, 20, well, midday, about midday, the Saturday, the 25th, uh, were pretty um, good. Uh, in terms of the actions that he took and so on and so forth. But then, I think uh, matters quickly got out of hands. And uh, rather than um, admitting the situation as it is, um, you know, he just felt that uh, a more comfortable position is to stick to their bonds and continue to defend what many, uh, you know, have described as uh, indefensible. All right, uh, let's talk about um, the impact or, you know, the observation of the foreign observers as regards the Nigeria 2023 uh, general elections. We've seen that the International Election Observation Mission have urged the international community to sanction perpetrators of electoral violence in the ongoing general election in Nigeria. We've also seen that there have been petitions flying around on the internet with people asking uh, that these petitions be signed to, in a way, prevent or to give visa bans to those who have been... Uh, 
further who have acted in furtherance of elect election malpractice in Nigeria. Do you think that that petition, for example, would hold water? If not, what what kind of sanctions are we looking at here? Uh, for a start, to leave, um, I believe that uh, the entire world appeared to be, um, you know, united in their condemnation of what happened. That was why I referred to where the INEC chairman's position as, um, you know, a lonely path that he has decided to uh, to walk. Now, um, the visa ban, the agitation by way of uh, petitions and uh, Nigerians across the world, you know, organizing uh, to ensure that uh, justice is done, uh, don't, you can't underestimate, uh, you know, those uh, pressures coming from left, right and center. They are very, very important. And you can see you know, how resolute Nigerians, uh, both in Nigeria and across the world, uh, are in pressing ahead. Now, I think uh, what ought to have simply happened is admit the irregularities, I mean, on the part of, um, on the part of uh, INEC. And let's not forget, I mean, uh, in the election that brought um, President, uh, late President um, uh, Yara Doa into office, he was first to admit that, yes, it wasn't, um, you know, uh, a trouble-free election. That is humility. Now, that INEC admits that and then show what is being done to address those irregularities and to actually say that it is the court or the tribunal or, you know, whatever entity uh, that is then in the position to make a determination as to where we go from here. That is a lot more credible than standing uh, the ground. So I think what people want to see indeed, uh, you know, is, is fairness. Fairness in terms of uh, forensically examining what uh, went on and to determine whether or not they are weighty enough to either uh, have, um, you know, uh, a rerun or cancel the election, or actually, you know, just um, secure justice and fairness for those who feel them um, aggrieved. Nigerians and their friends in the international community are not asking for anything uh, more. And the visa ban, don't forget that the um, United States, um, you know, foreign ministry actually issued um, a statement in the morning of the, um, of, uh, of the election that they are watching very closely, and indeed, uh, those found uh, wanting will get uh, visa restrictions. Uh, I hope they expand that also to um, you know their families, because uh, that is one of the uh, ways to ensure that um, you know uh, people are made to take responsibility for their wrong actions. Well, you know, as much as I would always say that Nigeria needs to also fix its um, electoral act and. Um, 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 criminal justice system here in, in the country and stop relying on the United States and relying on any other country to punish uh, people who commit such crimes against the Nigerian state. Um, I also want to ask about the sincerity of these statements by the international community and, uh, you know, visa bans. These, you know, do not seem like, you know, strong deterrents to electoral fraud in Nigeria. Banning a person from going to the United States has never really stopped people from committing electoral fraud in Nigeria. Um, and also... Can you also, if you can, talk on that and then also the Nigeria's image in the international scene, when people who have seen the way that the elections have gone, how does it affect the image of Nigeria and Nigerians um, abroad? Yeah, if visa ban was to be an action in isolation, uh, which means that uh, beyond the visa ban, nothing else uh, is being done, yes. Uh, it would have been um, okay to condemn it in its totality. But uh, that is certainly not the case. Uh, visa ban is a part of a general, um, you know, approach of uh, getting people to be um, a bit more uh, responsible. So, yes, uh, as part of uh, a bigger action, it is absolutely uh, necessary and uh, everywhere, meaning Nigeria, needs to uh, support that. Now, in terms of, um, you know, how Nigeria is looking, um, you know, in the international uh, arena, well, um, there is no uh, fancy way of saying that uh, Nigeria has, uh, with this election, made itself 
the laughing stock of the entire world. Don't forget that Nigeria's uh, foreign policy is actually anchored on being the leader within the African context, you know, setting good example and, uh, you know, being a good international player. But not when, uh, you know, you cannot get your elections right. Now, one of the headlines, uh, I believe yesterday, uh, from one European um, newspaper, I believe uh, Austria, um, is that Nigeria has just elected um, somebody that has been uh, accused of, uh, you know, drug uh, trafficking. Now, is, is that the kind of uh, headlines that Nigerians uh, desire to see coming out uh, from, um, you know, international uh, capitals? Certainly not. And then it also endangers a uh, Nigerian uh, diaspora. And normal Nigerians like, uh, like both of you uh, in the studio, who might decide one day to, uh, you know, come out here and chill. Well, what it means, what has happened in Nigeria, actually means that everyone, every Nigerian is a suspect. When you land in international airports, you are very, very much scrutinized than any other person because you might be uh, actually helping to launder money for some of these, um, you know, uh, politicians and so on and so forth. So the scrutiny on Nigeria is going to be a lot uh, more uh, because everyone, they have um, made all of us uh, suspects, you know. So it's not looking good for Nigeria. And I believe that it is not the end of the road. Now, if there is a credible process that is put in place to investigate and thoroughly interrogate uh, the uh, election and the things that happened, I believe that uh, it is one easy way of Nigeria beginning to gradually restore its integrity. Foreign scene concerning the elections and how it impacts us on the foreign scene. I'd like us to talk also about our, our stocks. Now, February ended for Nigeria on a good note. We had a, uh, an increase in the stock market despite the challenges we had, the fuel scarcity, the cash scarcity, the election tension that was brewing. But then the INEC announced the winner, the president-elect uh, of Nigeria, being Bola Metinumbu on the first day of, the, of February, the early hours of the day. And what we did see by the end of March 1st was that there was a drop in the stock market. We know that the Labour Party and the People's Democratic Party have decided that they're going to challenge the results in court. Uh, how do you foresee that this would affect the stock market? Well, um, there is no fancy way of saying that uh, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Uh, the crash was, um, you know, uh, foreseen. Um, the uh, stock market was uh, on its edge, uh, say, <laughs> on the 24th of, uh, of, um, of February, uh, hoping that, um, you know, uh, trying to work to see how things go. Now, one of the things um, that gave it a boost, um, at the time that it, it had a boost, um, let's say a couple of weeks before the election, uh, is actually the credentials of, um, you know, the uh, three leading uh, contestants. All three of them have uh, reasonably good business uh, credentials. I mean, in terms of, you know, what they have done with their lives and their past. And so, um, you know, the uh, business, international business community had quite uh, some confidence in the three of them in terms of specifically uh, you know, driving the economy with the right set of uh, policies. Uh, but then, when the um, election came, the political risk that comes with business actually, you know, was what um, uh, played out. Now, I would say that, again, if Nigeria is seen to be taking the right steps in addressing and redressing those uh, irregularities that occurred, and there is a sincere, honest sense of uh, purpose by the announced uh, president-elect, uh, I believe that uh, it will gradually begin to calm the market, even when all the issues have not been uh, resolved. But we'll be throwing ourselves into more turmoil uh, by these um, you know, unnecessary denials and uh, pressing as ahead as if nothing happened. All right. Um, yesterday, the uh, candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiko Abubakar, and of course, Labour Party's candidate, Peter Obi, 
um, publicly um, in their press conferences uh, refused the results of the election and they have vowed to take their case to court. So let's quickly take a look uh, before we have you respond to it. Presidential election presented our nation and its people the greatest opportunity for a reset. We had everything going for us. However, the dreams and aspirations of Nigerians who braced all the challenges to go and cast their votes on Saturday, 25th of February, 2023, were shattered. Having consulted with leaders of our party who are seated here with me, and Nigerians from different walks of life, I have come to the conclusion that the processes and outcome of the presidential and national assembly election on last Saturday was grossly flawed in every material particular. This election, as you know, did not meet the minimum standard expected of a free, transparent, credible, fair election. It will go down as one of the most controversial elections ever conducted in Nigeria. The good and hardworking people of Nigeria have again been robbed. And I assure you that good people of Nigeria that will explore all legal and peaceful auction to reclaim our mandate. Right, of course, uh, uh, Collins Winker, what are your thoughts, you know, would you, you know, advise that, of course, they go to court, um, or what, do you have other ideas? Well, I mean, uh, that's what the courts are there for. Anybody who feels um, aggrieved, who feel that, uh, you know, uh, they have been um, uh, unjustly treated, uh, they, rather than going into a fist fight or other you know, forms of, um, you know, settling your dispute, uh, the civilized way is to go to court. And that is essentially what they have uh, decided that they want to do. Is that unpatriotic? Far from it. Um, I, will, I must also add that, yes, it has become um, a permanent future of uh, African politics that uh, after every, almost every single, um, you know, election, uh, losers go to court. That has already given Africa a very, very uh, bad name. Uh, Good luck, Jonathan, was, um, you know, uh, a clear departure from uh, that uh, particular uh, practice. Uh, but having said that, I must say as well that based on footages that we saw coming out from, um, you know, uh, different parts of uh, Nigeria, um, I believe that every single political party has a question to answer. So it is not because um, Bola Tinubu has won and then, um, you know, the other uh, uh, two losing uh, parties are crying foul that it means that those two other parties don't have a question to answer. I believe that um, uh, Bola Tinubu's uh, party will definitely be raising their own questions to point to areas where they believe that both the PDP and the Labour Party have also were aired. But at the end of the day, it is up to the court to place all of these uh, arguments on a scale and see which one, uh, you know, weighs higher and then decide on where to tilt their judgment to. Now, uh, you also have to look at the independence of the, of the courts uh, because uh, it is meant to be the uh, final uh, arbiter, but um, I mean, there have been reasons in the past to believe that uh, you know Nigerian courts are grossly corrupt. However, uh, all hope um, you know are not lost because uh, there have been recent uh, judgments you know where the court have been seen to act and act uh, in a fair and just uh, manner, giving them you know uh, judgment in favor of full judgment should be due to. So, um, we can't lose hope uh, completely, but there are reasons to, uh, you know, keep a very, very uh, watchful eyes. All right. 
Very interesting there. And of course, um, like we've always been saying, the next couple of days or weeks or months will be very interesting in Nigeria, uh, seeing where this leads. Collins Wiki, thank you so much for joining us and for your time uh, this morning. We would like to speak with you again. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you. Enjoy the, your weekend. And you too. You as well.